Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is day two of the TO20 rewire. I did some research last night and I have the Pertronix flamethrower coil that's going on here as well as the Pertronix electronic ignition. Each one has their own instructions. One instruction, okay let's show you this. This is the igniter, the electronic ignition. If your ignition system presently is equipped with a ballast resistor, do not remove it. And then it says, see figure three. All right, here's figure three. And it shows the wiring, the red wire from the igniter goes to the far side of the ballast, which means unballasted. Then, where is the other one? This is the flamethrower coil. Four to six cylinder, normal applications remove the resistor. So they're opposed. One says keep it, one says get rid of it. But my thinking is, no matter what sequence you purchased these parts, you would end up removing that. If you only bought the coil, you would remove that because that's what the coil says to do. If you, if you did not have the coil and only had the electronic ignition, then you would leave this on. But any situation where you have the coil, the coil is before the distributor. So I would say that the coil, the rules for the coil are the ones you would use. So my thinking is that if anytime there's a coil in the loop, you would have to go by the instructions for the coil. So I am going to remove this. If it turns out I need it, I'll have to put it back in, but it is what it is. What I will probably do to start with is just make a short little jumper with two spade ends and just connect these two together. That will um, go from the switch right into the harness here. And then this is the end, this connects to the coil. Let me get started, I think that's where I'm gonna start.
Okay, step one is done. Got the jumper in, got the original ignition switch in. If need be, I can just pull this jumper out of there and put the ballast back in. But I think the way I'm going to do it is correct. So I got to start pulling stuff out of here. I think I'm going to start with the air cleaner there. So that'll open things up so I can get the voltage regulator out of there. And once the air cleaner's out, I can put the ground strap in. So I get started with that.
Okay, that'll wrap it up for today. Before I can continue, I need to clean up this air cleaner, change the oil, and I think I'm going to clean up this area a bit. I'm going to have to do some repairs on this at some time. And I may put that black stuff that oxidizes rust on it. I am not sure, but I don't want this to rust completely out. So I got to do a couple things before I get back to the wiring. And I believe the next wiring is just hooking up the battery and then doing the Pertronics electronic ignition and uh, flame, what is it, flamethrower? Whatever, the Pertronics coil needs to be installed. And then, I believe, I can try to start this thing. Oh, also I noticed when I put the radiator on, I didn't push it all the way back before I tightened it up, so got to do that too. No big deal. And that funky, nasty bracket that came with this, this down here, may fail right away. It, it just doesn't fit very well. So I may have to pull that out. And now that I have a welder, I should be able to make my own bracket, make something that fits a little better. The problem is down here. It's got like a fork that is supposed to fit down over this nut. And it, it goes about halfway. I thought maybe I could have somebody weld a washer on there or something, but now that I have a welder, I think I can do a better job than that. But hopefully it holds enough for me to start it and know that it's going to run. And then I can dick with that a little bit later. At any rate, I don't think that's going to be strong enough to take this thing into the field. I think that that alternator is going to rock all over the damn place. The kit was a piece of crap. At least the bracketing was. You could see the belt is almost touching. I mean, it, it was junk. But hopefully it works. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click on the update icon so that you receive notice when I post new videos. A like and a share would be great as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.